welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I have a super fun, super bright, super crazy makeup tutorial for you. This is inspired for the Coachella festival season. I've been seeing these kind of looks all over my Instagram and all over YouTube and I really wanted to, I don't know, do my own like little look. I'm really happy how it turned out. It's super different, it's super out there, it's not like your everyday kind of look. So if you guys like this look and want to know how I created it and what I use, please just keep watching. So I've already gone in with my Nivea Daily Essentials Moisturizer for sensitive skin, just to prep my skin and to give it a little bit of moisture. And then I've also applied some Blistex to my lip. I'm going to go in with my primer. This is new. I featured this in my last video. I'll link that video down below. This is the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Primer. Just something really dewy, really glowy. Taking this little pea size amount. I'm just going to rub it all over my skin. Wow. Yeah. This is, this is glowy. <laughs> That's impression. I really like this primer. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. I have the shade Light Warm. I'm just going to apply one pump of this. It's pretty full coverage. A flat foundation brush. I think it's really good to apply this foundation with the flat shader brush. Go in with a buffer to blend it in. So I quite like a view blender for this one. I don't know if you noticed, but I always do this. A little pinky look kind of help optional. Basically just spreading the product around the surface. Then I'm taking my Morphe R6 buffing brush. I love this brush. Mm. I think I'm going to do Beauty Blender. The brush just wasn't working for me so I'm going to go with my damp Beauty Blender just to blend it up. I can't get over the coverage of this foundation. Like I heard it was good but I didn't know like how good. <laughs> I really like that foundation, I do recommend it. I think if you can get your hands on a sample and just try it out, see if it is for you. Okay, so I just realized that I was going to do my eyes first. I'm just gonna go in with some tape and just apply that, you know, so you can get that clean line slash wing effect. I'm just applying that tape on the back of my hand and then I'll peel it off. Lining that tape up from the inner corner to the end of my eyebrow. This is just as important as getting your liner right. Like, if you don't put the tape in the right place, it we're left with wonky eyeshadow and you do not want that. Now I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Concealer just to prime the eyelids. I've actually been really enjoying putting concealer or foundation down and setting that instead of an actual eyeshadow primer. Now I'm going to set my eyelids with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Taking a fluffy brush and just patting that on the area. Just so the eyeshadows can blend nice and smooth on top. First off, I'm going to be using some shades from the Chocolate Bar palette. I'm just going to be using... What the hell? I'm just going to be using the Milk Chocolate shade. I'm using my H&M Defined Blending Brush, by the way. I'm also taking that shade into the inner corner. I'm taking my Sephora Blending Brush number 27 and just blending that out. Next, I'm going in with the shade Semi Sweet. It's just a dark shade of that same brown. I'm applying that in the exact same places just to deepen up the color. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette. This has so many beautiful and bright colours. So pigmented, it's insane. I'm taking this purple shade here and mixing a little bit of that bright pink. I'm just using the brush that came with the palette. I'm being very light with the application, like I'm applying little bits at a time.
I'm also going to apply this shade right in the outer third of the eye. Blending it out. I think I'm pretty happy with how that looks. I'm now going to take off the tape. Oh, thank God. Now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more foundation just to clean up. Going back in with my beauty blender. I'm going to go back in with my Laura Mercier setting powder just to set under the eyes and around my T-zone. I just tap under the eye. And then I just kind of buff it in. I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer slash contour using my Morphe 9C palette. I'm just going to take this shade right here. It's actually like coming up a lot darker on camera than it is in real life. Strange. Now for highlight, I'm going to be using a new purchase for me. It is the Zoeva Winter Strobe Highlight Palette. I'm going to apply it with my Real Techniques setting brush. Setting brush. I'm going to put a bit of product on the brush first and then spray it with my MAC Fix Plus just to give it super intense like pigment. And just applying that to cheekbones, cupid's bow, nose. Now we're going to finish off the eyes. I'm just going to grab my Urban Decay palette again and just touch up the inner corner and bring it down on my lower lash line. I don't know why it's taking me this long to use this palette. Now I'm going in with my Chi Chi Double Trouble Liner. I'm using the felt tip end. And now I'm going to try and not stuff this up. Just like a little flick. Really wanting to play with some white Eyeliner. Do one in the very center. Looks cool. I'm gonna do my lashes. I'm just gonna curl with my Shiramura lash curler. I'm going to apply my favourite mascara, which is the Better Than Sex Mascara. I 
So that's what it looks like. I just went ahead and applied some falsies, just some really nice wispy ones. I can't remember the name, I lost the box. I think they just make the eye look. Now I'm gonna apply some sequins. I'm just applying eyelash glue. Love this so much. Then I'm just going to take my white eyeliner again and just do like little tiny little white dots in between each of the sequins. Last but not least, I'm going to be doing my lips. I'm taking the NYX um, Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Corset. Taking my white liner, I'm just going to do a thin stripe down the centre of my lip. And that's it guys, this is my festival inspired look. I hope you like it. I think this is so cool. Like I've never done a makeup look like this before. But I really love it. I love the colors, dots and the details in it. I'm just so happy how it came out. I hope you guys love it as just as much as I do. If you like this video and you wanna see more like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below any requests that you have. Thank you so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it.